Hey everyone, this past fall I had the tremendous opportunity to be a part of an Alpha Online that Elam in St. John's ran. Um, we saw some tremendous results, we, uh, we saw some co really cool things happening during that Online Alpha. So tonight we want to take just a few moments to chat with a couple of their key leaders who helped run the Alpha. And maybe you're uh, considering running an online alpha. Well, hopefully from this interview, you'll get a little insight into what it takes to run an online alpha, and this will help push you to actually run on your own. So tell us a little about yourself and how you got involved in alpha. Okay, so I'm, uh, I'm Jason. <laughs> And uh, I'm uh, in ministry now uh, for 23 years. I'm currently uh, the Connections Pastor at Elam Tabernacle, where my role is um, very much connected to all things discipleship and, and adult ministries. Wanda. Uh, so for me, uh, I've been involved with Alpha for about 17 years. When I first did the Alpha course, I was not a Christian, and I came as a participant. Um, during the Alpha course 17 years ago, I um, decided that I wanted to be a Christian. So um, after when Alpha was over, um, they asked me to come back and be a part of the team. So I came back and I was a team member and I did that for a few years. And then they asked me to be a leader and then they asked me to be the administrator. So I've been involved with it on and off for about 17 years. and. Um, and um, we used to run it probably twice a year at our old church. And um, then I, um, when I came to Elam, I started to help out with it there. So did you have any reservations or hesitations about shifting online and were your fears founded? Uh, for me, a lot of it was I was concerned about, you know, how relationships were going to be formed uh, because with a normal alpha course, we normally started out with a meal, which gave people an opportunity to kind of just sit around the table, get to know each other uh, prior to going into the groups. And of course, now that wouldn't happen, uh, you know, doing it online. As well, I had a concern of how like the whole Holy Spirit weekend was going to work um, with regards to prayer ministry and, um, you know, just like how would how would we do that online and just the whole online thing? How would people feel comfortable? Like, you know, are people going to share online? So I was kind of worried about all that. So what was the response from the participants for my online alpha? Surprisingly, um people kind of warmed up and came around it, it, to use that language uh maybe maybe easier uh and even a little earlier than you would have anticipated uh, with some of the reservations we had um but yeah i found like we weren't we weren't long into it at all and uh and people like were just comfortable you know they once you give them a week or two to recognize faces and names it almost seemed like once people got to the point of, of recognizing a face and knowing the name that's with that face. And one of the things that helps that with a Zoom meeting is that it's there on your screen. So it's not even like you're in a room when you're talking to somebody and you're trying to think, what's your name again? What's their name again? So some little things like that maybe made it a little bit easier because of technology. But no, I, I found that, uh, I found that all those reservations were, were fairly settled uh, a few weeks in and, uh, it seemed like people were uh, were opened up and and uh, and just uh, you know looking forward to each and every week. Yeah, I found the same thing. So, talk to us a little bit about the advantages of going and doing online alpha. Yeah, so I think some of them are very just kind of obvious and practical. Like uh, you know, here here in St. John's, you take when you do uh, when you do alpha through a winter season. You know, one very practical thing that can impact an evening at alpha is the weather. And, uh, you know, not that it has to be, you know, full on stormy, but anything, anything can almost keep people from saying, yeah, I really don't know if I'm going to really put the drive into getting out on an evening like this. So, you know, like, uh, doing it online eliminates a number of, of practical things that can come into play, whether, whether don't hold people up. Uh, you know, it's just, uh, in some ways people find it a little easier that, um, it's a little more compacted with time. And uh, it's just a matter of you're in your home, you jump on the computer, you know, and, and take an alpha and it didn't take up uh, as much of an evening. And that, that's, that can be a pro and a, 
you know, and that you don't want it to feel like it's it's too quick. But at the same time, I think that uh, and the other thing, of course, is uh, is you're not restrained by geography. And so one of the things that got really interesting for us was uh, was having participants in our alpha from uh, Mount Pearl to Mississippi. And so, uh, you know, that was that was quite interesting that you were not you were not impacted at all by distance and uh, and geography. So, uh, I mean, those two things alone, um, you know, made it quite interesting. And very, also, very we uh, also we had one couple that uh, didn't have to worry about childcare, um, yeah. and they indicated that they probably wouldn't have been able to come to the church because they had a small baby. Um, but in this case, they put their child to bed and then they came online. So that was really helpful, you know, in their situation. And there are people from Mount Pearl to Mississippi. Uh, tell us a little bit more about that connection when it comes to someone being here from the U.S. So the three of them that were there from Mississippi were, were neighborhood friends. They lived in the same neighborhood block. And so they, uh, you know, they were really looking to take this and, and see how they could implement it in their own neighborhood. And it was, uh, it was great in seeing how online alpha would look and work uh, for potentially doing it in their own context. And so that was really neat that we ended up with some other people doing it more or less from a leadership perspective, just to get exposure to what it would be like online uh, with the hopes of, uh, of them, of, you know, re uh, duplicating that in their own context, which is great. Yeah. And she also brought along her sister and another young lady uh, from the community who after alpha, um, had shown the alpha videos to her family, and now they're interested in doing the alpha course. Awesome. Friends that are away that uh, they would think it was really cool to be in a, in a small group with with their friends and with their family. So this this offers something in uh, along those lines as well. So that's really cool. I think I think too. Um, one other thing is like sometimes it may take the intimidation to people who may not go to church to come into a church so they're in the comfort of their own home and they Absolutely. may feel more, more comfortable by you know not having to go to a church for people who are you know not regular church goers so what were some of the best moments from doing online alpha every week we used to meet uh before alpha and uh there was only three of us on team but we'd always pray for each participant um and um, you know, there were sometimes when, you know, people would come back, for example, if we knew somebody was struggling with something in their life, um, I don't know, maybe they wanted peace with God or something, and then they would reveal, I actually feel from coming through this course that I feel connected and I feel that I have peace now in my life with God. So you know, it was like an answer to our prayers. So that was pretty cool when people would, you know, speak that out and we would get all excited over that and say, oh, we prayed for that, you know? <laughs> so that was pretty good. Yeah, and I find too, it's also a ministry of discipleship for people that are part of the team. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we um, we had another person that came on that just did Alpha a couple of, you know, Alphas ago, and yeah. she found, you know, by coming on the course, it really helped her as well and helped her, you know, deepen her faith. So mm -hmm. not like, of course, Alpha is designed to reach people and uh, to come into a relationship with, with Jesus, but it's also helping the people on team to grow and to be discipled. And um, that, you know, I found that through every Alpha, like the people who come on team. I mean, it happened for me. You know, I learned a lot through the last 17 years of just being on the team. <laughs> If there are people out there who are considering doing an online alpha at their church or uh, amongst their friends or, or amongst their neighbors, well, what's one piece of advice that you would uh, give them? Uh, my advice, especially as it relates to, to the hesitation of, of, of trying it online, my advice is simply jump in, just just jump in, go for it and, and, and don't overthink it. I think we'll end with this, Jason. I think that's great. Just do it. Just try it. Even if you're fearful, even if you have reservation and you're a little hesitant about it, just try it. And and you guys tonight have uh, given us great advice and great examples on, on the fact that online alpha works. 